new tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, these past four years, we have suffered no shortage of words in the White House. What is missing is leadership in the White House. Vice presidential candidate Paul Ryan accepting the VP nomination and taking on the president tonight in a 40-minute speech. He attacked President Obama's policies from his health care plan to his handling of the economy. Ryan promising he and Mitt Romney will lead the nation out of the jobs crisis. 7 News reporter Marshall Zellner are live in Tampa tonight to truth track Congressman Ryan's speech tonight. His speech supposed to tout optimism, opportunity, and growth, but Vice Presidential Candidate Paul Ryan also taking swipes at President Obama on his health care law and on Medicare. I found some bits truth, some misleading. Obamacare comes to more than 2,000 pages of rules, mandates, taxes, fees, and fines that have no place in a free country. This is mostly true. First, the false part. The president's health care law is not 2,000 pages, but it is long, more than 900 pages. What is true are that there are many of rules throughout this law. In fact, the Supreme Court ruled back in June that the mandates in here are a tax. So if you don't have health insurance by the year 2014, with few exceptions, you'll owe the IRS more money. So tax is true, fee or fine, not accurate. $716 billion funneled out of Medicare by President Obama. This is misleading. 7 News previously did a truth tracker on this issue. The $716 billion does not represent what would be cut from Medicare. It's the amount that would be spent on Medicare in the next 10 years if the new health care law does not take effect. But the new health care law slows spending on Medicare. It does not call for a cut of Medicare benefits. Prior to becoming vice presidential candidate, Paul Ryan had his own budget plan which called for $700 billion worth of different different money spending on Medicare, similar to the president, but since joining the Romney ticket, that budget plan is no more. Romney saying that they're going to move forward with his plan, which would keep Medicare the way it is, at least in the short term. Reporting live in Tampa, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News.